Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Talking Women of WWE. We last left off on, I guess, I believe Sasha was facing Tamina. For, a, for Tamina to have a chance at the title of Bailey. Pretty much she beat Sasha with Lacey's help at the end. Which, that match was okay. Um... Nothing really interesting going on with that after the fact. We have next week with, or not, the whatever week we had, um, Sasha talking to Tamina, and then she, uh, Bailey tries to beat her up a little bit, but then Lacey comes in and the refs get involved in the brawl, brawling at the in the back backstage. I thought it would lead to a tag team match that night, but I guess not. Um, I don't see really any interest in this. I mean, the fact that Sasha lost for a chance to be in laddered or money in the bank against Lacey Evans. That's annoying. I mean, I sort of like the ending where, because uh, Bailey was getting involved, and Sasha was getting tired of her, because she ends up distracting the referee. You know, Bay Sasha could have had the match won, but Bailey messing with the referee, so then Sasha yells at her, and then she turns around, and gets hit with a woman's right, and Lacey wins, so she'll be she's qualifying. She's the contestant for the uh, ladder match. But, what else? Um, Be Becky, I don't know what's going on with her, because she hasn't really been doing anything. Like, I don't even think she was on Monday Night Raw last night. I think it was Charlotte Flair, even though, I don't get that, again, I don't get the, she's, she went down to NXT, she wins the title, even though she's not an NXT, uh, you know, roster thing superstar i don't get how they're allowed to just jump around on different brands but okay or she's allowed to do it but others can't um of course she's gonna face Io shirai i guess that money in the bank so that i was sort of i'm more i'm not really a big fan of Io shirai but i like what she does in the ring a little bit so she's pretty acrobatic so and she's a high flyer so that's pretty cool so I will be watching mainly for her. I just hope she beats Flair. I really do. Uh, last night we did have a match with um, Liv Morgan versus Flair. Even though they had their match back in, I think it was last year sometime. Where Liv, after a match with uh, Charlotte, she said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and I'll be real or whatever." And then she came back and she didn't really do much. She didn't really change much except. She wears all black, sort of. And, um, sort of reminds me again of Black Cat. If you notice the uh, character from Spider-Man, Black Cat, who interesting character, but that's who she reminds me of with the, the whole get-up. I don't like the straps on her, on the sides though. I don't. I think she should have took those off, and then that would have been. Decent, more, more decent, I guess. But, uh, she has been impressed me lately with her in the ring ability. She had, she lasted a pretty good time with Asuka. Um, of course, she still lost, so that sucks. But, and then she loses again to, uh, Flair, which is bull. I don't think she should have lost that match. I don't see why we... We gotta have the champion look strong for EO. I don't care. Like, it could. I don't know. Why not have EO come out and attack Flair or something? Or instead. Or distract her and then have Liv win that way. But nope. We can't do that. We gotta have Flair's daughter look supreme and superior. 
Give me a break. Um, yeah, and also, I guess the Ruby Riot uh, rivalry with Liv, is, it, is that over with, I guess? I guess that's kind of over now, since she beat her twice in a row, which I'm fine with, because I don't really care for Ruby Riot. She kind of sucks in the ring. I don't get the praise that she gets from people. Nothing against the actual lady, just the... Or woman, whatever. Not against her. Nothing against her personally. Just her in-ring abilities. I, I'm not really a big. I'm not a fan, at all. Um, Sarah Logan. She had potential, but then, oh, uh, since this whole stupid virus thing, and then we're letting our some of our co-workers go, and so she got fired. And then there's talks that maybe she came back, or maybe she's coming back, maybe. Vince is rehiring her again. I'm like, if I was her, I would probably be like, screw you, Vince, you fired me, so no. And plus, she, uh, she should be injured after what, uh, Shayna Baszler did to her arm. She stomped on her arm, like, I don't see how she would be able to qualify for anything else. Like, her arm should be broke. She sold the injury. And now we're having this stupid thing with Oscar, Nia Jax, and Shayna go at it every week. For what? I don't know. I guess building a rivalry between the three. It's like stupid. Like, even the fact that she, even Nia beat Kairi Zane twice. I hate that they even did a repeat the second time. I mean, the first time was for qualifying for the ladder match, and then the second time was just... I don't even know why you had her fight her again, only to lose. And it's not even like she had a chance really much to... She wasn't going to beat her. But... Uh, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, they beat Carmella and um, Dana Brooke. Even though Dana Brooke beat Naomi for the the uh, qualifying match for the ladder women's ladder match. I don't even know where Naomi is now. I guess oh we we uh, we're done with what we're done with her now. Oh, we needed her to get to lose to Dana Brooke so. She'll go back to obscurity and... Where the heck is Ember Moon? I don't get that. Where is she at? Is she injured? Like, nobody says anything about her. She hasn't... I don't get it. Like, I know she's on, like, that stupid... Well, it's not really stupid, but... I know she's on that game show uh, with Xavier Woods and a few other superstars. They used to... They do... I don't know if they're... I guess they're not really doing that now, but... But yeah, where is Ember Moon? Like, did she get fired? I get, well, again, again, it seemed like they would have said her, she would have been, like, one of the main people I would have heard about. I don't know why I'm thirsty all of a sudden a lot. But, I don't get it. Like, she, she has pretty good, uh, ring ability, and they don't really use her. And if she's in Titus Catering, maybe, like, if they're even still doing, I'm sure they're still doing it. But. Like, she deserves so much more. Sasha, too. The fact that she won't be in the women's ladder match sucks. So I don't really know what she's going to do with uh, Bailey at fighting against um, Tamina. I really don't. I mean... <laughs> If anything, just make it a tag team match. Inst well, if it, why not do a deep? Why not do it differently? Make it a tornado tag where all four contestants are in the ring and they go at it instead of doing this reg regular tag team match. Like I'm tired of seeing that. Even in the old games, they gave you the option to have a tornado tag or just normal tag team. I usually, I do pick tag team sometimes, but. Even Tornado Tag, like, why not? They used to do that back in the day with, well, with the guys, but I guess not really the women, but they're trying to push the women revolution or whatever. 
or evolution, even though it's a delution or whatever. It's dying. So do something different with women for a change, please. Fence McMahon. I can't even think of anything else. I mean, again, Liv Morgan did pretty good in the ring with, against Charlotte. It was bold that uh, she beat her anyway. Anything to keep the uh, Flair legacy, I guess, afloat, right? So, we have this Friday night coming up, and then it'll be this, uh, yeah, this coming Sunday. Or this Sunday coming up. It will be Money in the Bank. So. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. I, for, I almost forgot to mention any of the stuff that they're doing. Uh, I guess. So, like. After the whole hackers hack uh, the surveillance cameras. and Oh, uh. Yeah, I lied to Otis or whatever. And she, uh. Played a fraud or whatever. And. Mandy's mad at Sonya, and Sonya's actually jealous of Mandy, because, oh, she gets more attention than me, I'm better than her, and, again, Mandy Rose cannot act to save her life, even when she's injured, or thrown into steel stairs, or steps, whatever, she had no painful emotion after the aftermath effect, are you serious? She literally, I was watching, so Sonya Deville, I'm not a big fan of her, she does way better acting, way more emotion, she emotes way better than Mandy Rose, because Mandy Rose either has a blank stare on her face, or she's just, <laughs> I mean, she's pretty, she's pretty, but, you know, even Alexa Bliss can act better than her. Even I'll even say Nikki Cross, even though she's a bit annoying. Even she does better acting than Mandy Rose. How does that work? Flair, even I don't really like her either. But even Flair, um, Charlotte Flair, even she's a better actor, acting as a, as a heel or whatever. Even she does better acting. And I don't even like her, but Mandy Rose, like, she's pretty good in the ring, but the whole, you know, trying to emote and vote, she doesn't even try. She, she takes me out of it, just like when Nikki Cross fixes her hair every time she has to fall down, she has to throw it back, and then... I don't get it. She needs better acting classes, or she needs, like, a better acting coach, or... Whoever is, like, whoever producer is working with them, they need to pay attention and, um, get Mandy to act better. <laughs> like, show more emotion. Like, again, when she saw Dolph about to, um, crush the one guy with the steel steps, she's like, Dolph, what are you doing? Stop it. Or what, I forget what she even said, but she didn't say it with no emotion at all. So don't get it. Don't, 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 don't get it. So I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will happen. You know. If anything, something interesting should happen with the Bailey and Tamina match with Sasha involved. And probably Lacey, if anything. Um. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville facing one on one next or this Friday. I don't care. I really don't. Even the beatdown, like again, it wasn't really all that, but I don't know. I forget who she even faced. I think it was Carmella. She was fighting and then she still I think she lost. And then uh, Sonya got involved and beat her after the fact. But yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, what are your thoughts on 
anything they're doing with the women right now, with Sasha, Bailey, Tamina, Lacey. Uh, are you a fan of what they're doing so far with any of the storylines, or not a fan? Um, anyway, comment, subscribe, and um, share, and peace and love. Bye.